Agatha all along as Joe Locke can finally talk about Wiccan, the show starts getting real, exclusive. After two years of secrecy the Heartstopper standout speaks exclusively with Eu about his Marvel character's true identity. Not even 12 full hours after Marvel dropped the fifth episode of Agatha all along on Disney Plus Joe Locke looks euphoric. It's almost like the anxieties from keeping a big secret for more than two years just aren't there anymore. It's so nice. I feel like I'm breathing. I love it the actor tells Entertainment Weekly amid one overt exhale sitting on the couch of his UK home in front of bay windows that overlook the street. The previous night though was a different story. With the release of Darkest Hour slash Wake Thy Power the episode in question came the long anticipated reveal that teen the mysterious character Locke plays on the show opposite Catherine Hans Agatha Harkness isn't your average goth kid hoping to gain magical powers by joining a coven down the witch's road. He's actually Billy the grown-up son of Elizabeth Olsen's Wanda Maximoff slash Scarlet Witch and a super teen known as Wiccan in Marvel Comics. The young Julian Hilliard played Kid Billy in WandaVision. The big unveiling came in the final seconds of Wednesday's installment when he revealed his magic and sense Agatha Patti Lapone's divination which Lilia Caldiru and Sashir Zameda's potions expert Jennifer Hale into a pit of sinking mud after the show's titular anti-hero killed a member of their group Alice Wu Gulliver, Ali Ahn, the jury's still out on whether it was accidental. The final shot showed Locke looking directly into the camera with a blue scarlet witch-esque crown now on his head to the sound of Billie Eilish's You Should See Me in a Crown a moment Locke calls perfect having watched an early screener back in June. It's a historic moment for Marvel storytelling as Billie is the most prominent plus character the cinematic universe introduced thus far. Locke is well aware of that inclusion. He took four doses of melatonin the night of the big reveal to get to sleep. I'm in the UK. The episode drops at 2 a.m. He says. I knew I wouldn't be able to sleep so I'm just going to drug myself and then wake up to my phone blowing up which it did. He was admittedly nervous for the moment adding the thing that I've kept so secret guarding it with my life is now just in the ether. Marvel fans clocked early on that Locke would be playing Billy slash Wiccan partly because there is a severe lack of gay comic book characters that have some kind of connection to Agatha to choose from and partly because certain leaks from the production seemed to prove the theory true. There were also clues on the show itself as the first few episodes started streaming. Locke points out one such easter egg, the image of Wanda's crown is stitched onto Billy's sweater though the actor acknowledges it's on the back so audiences might not have caught it. From day one showrunner J.A.C. Schaffer knew of that theory chatter permeating the internet and imparted unto her actor that the shock wouldn't be the Billy reveal itself. You can do the most unsurprising thing in the most surprising way and that's how you hook an audience Locke remarks. Now that the audience is hooked the show starts getting real he continues. The show starts with Billy being very much the familiar the secondary to all the witches. Now we know he is also a witch and that changes things. Also we now know that he has the ability to cause harm to them. Therefore he is now the most powerful person on the road. What does that change in the dynamic of the group and how does that change the future of those relationships? The rest of the 9 episode season is Locke's favorite material especially this week's episode 6 which will explore Billy's true motivations why he's on the road in the first place, hint, it's not to achieve power like he said, and his backstory. A new mid-season trailer for Agatha All Along, released after this article was originally published, teases that backstory. Billy mentioned that a lot happened to him at the age of 13 and the footage features a glimpse of one Billy Kaplan born to Jeff and Rebecca Kaplan of Eastview in a car crash during the events of WandaVision. This is our strongest clue yet as to how Hilliard's younger Billy Maximoff disappeared when Wanda lifted the hex over Westview but is now able to stand before us fully grown on the witch's road.